break, shall we? What up? Time to start our eBay day here. 2018 Heritage Baseball half case number three. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Yep, Bryce Harper finally signs with the uh, with the Phillies. I don't know what the contract is. I think it was like what, like three hundred thirty million or something like that. Something ridiculous. What's up, Greg? How are you? Gotta love baseball. Thirteen years, three hundred thirty million. Woo! That's crazy. I'm doing all right, Greg. I'm about to start this uh, eBay stuff here and get this crack a logging. So he has a no trade clause, meaning he can't be traded unless he wants to, or something like that. So this is only a half case break, which means we're only doing six boxes. Nice, Jimbo. It's all it's always good when you get a big time hit. You know that that always makes things a lot nicer. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Greg, did you just randomly type the number six in there or something? I, I, I don't know what <laughs> what that is for, but okay. Box topper, which we save for the end. There's so many cards in this stuff. Yeah, ex yes, Jimbo, yes. Oh, yeah, six boxes, yes, six boxes, correct. I'm trying to get this thing under, like, under 40 minutes, really. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty slow, I will admit. And with a product like this, you, you know, it's tough as a breaker. Because there's short prints, there's variations, there's error cards. I can't open this pack for some reason. It's a sorting nightmare. But hey, that's why they... Uh, that, that, that's why we do what we do, I guess, right? What up, Greg? From Down Under. Yeah, tell me about it, Jimbo. In tops, not for nothing, their their packs are pretty easy to open compared to other folks. They're like the easiest to open. Yeah, I want to try to get this under. I would like to have it around the 30, 40 minute mark. I know what to look for. The problem with this stuff is that you really have to look at the back of the card. You got to look at the card number, the code, to make sure you don't miss any short prints or variations or anything like that. Matt, this is heritage number three for eBay. Yep, you are correct. Ah, Greg, you, you heard about that? You heard about that? 
I, I'm a nice guy sometimes. No problem, Matt. Thank you for uh, participating, if you are. Or thank you for watching. All right, let's see what we got here. Got a random on the floor on that. Now, if you guys... Hey, you missed an action card or something. No worries. We will go through this uh, a few times, actually. I go through it at the end of the night. My sorters go through it as well. And they double-check each other's work. So it's essentially triple-checked. Uh, so... If you do if you do see me skip anything, don't worry about it. We will take care of you. And that's also why we show every single thing on the screen too. That way we can always go back, check the video, and see that hey yeah, we, we missed that. And we'll take care of you. But for the interest of time and our sanity, I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly. I did a case of this yesterday for eBay, so I kind of know what I'm looking for. But this is a new case, so you just, you never know. Yeah, Greg, so do I. So do I. So do I. But, you know, what are you going to do? Unfortunately, you have to rip this to get to the good stuff. Hashtag allocations. We have Miles Mikolas, so the Cardinals to 570. I got a decent eye, so I'm fairly confident that if I see like a short print variation or something, I can catch it. But like I said, that's why we double, triple check this stuff, because there's just so many base cards. It's easy to miss one or two here and there. And I have a habit of checking some of them anyway. I can't help myself. We got a black Ian Desmond for the Rockies there, which I hear those blacks are uh, limited to around 50. I wish they would just number the stuff. All right, an auto for the Rockies patch. There is an auto or a relic. Uh, per box in this stuff. In the first case we did, we had three autographs. Which, from my experience doing this stuff, that's about more or less, you know, what, what it is. In, in the case of Heritage. You know, this product is more so for short prints and variations and, and things of that nature. Very tough to get an autograph. You mean the purple hot boxes, uh, Greg? Is that what you're referring to? The good old purple hot boxes. Got these scratch offs. That's the first time I've seen those. That's interesting. Yep. Greg, uh, I am fully aware. You know, believe it or not, Greg, I do my research on some of it. You know, don't. You know, this is my job at the end of the day. You know, this is uh, how I make my monies. So it would behoove me to know about the product. So yeah, all sarcasm aside, I'm fully aware of the purple hot box. I'm not sure what code 112 is, Blob, to be honest with you, though. You got me on that one. I know it's a base short print.
gotcha, Greg. How's everybody doing today? Got a pretty sick promo going on. Gonna give away $2,500 on Sunday. And the way to get entered into that is to help me fill breaks. We have two hitless spots in every break we fill tonight. We'll get a dice roll each, which means a guaranteed hit there for two hitless spots in each break. Not to mention every heritage break we fill in the store. Four random spots, whether they get a hit or not, four random spots will be automatically entered into our $2,500 uh, break credit giveaway, which will take place on Sunday. Yeah, Blob, I'm pretty sure that they are um, base short prints, Blob. Look at the number. Look at the card number. If it's 401 or above, it's a base short print. Spencer, good, good, uh, good call. This is Heritage number three for eBay. Heritage half case number three for eBay. I used to post the, the break name on the screen. I don't do it anymore because, you know, I like the human interaction. I actually like when people ask me questions now. I'm weird. Got a random the flashbacks. Bryce Harper to the Phillies. Philly fans got to be happy about that. Right? Where, where the Philly fans at? That's what is that? That's an action image right there. Code 124. Jason Witten coming out of retirement to hoop. I'm uh, sorry, to, to ball out with the Cowboys. I don't, I don't necessarily, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, he wasn't the greatest announcer anyway, so there's that. But dang it, he's, man, on paper, Cowboys looking good. On paper, they're looking good. It remains to be seen. How about that Dwayne Wade, though, huh? With that game winner last night. Oh, that was so sick. I, pee I peed in my pants a little bit. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not that much. Here we got a patch for the Yankees, Masahiro Tanaka. Hell yeah, Greg. It was wonderful. It was so awesome. The man is a legend. And he's going out in style. Hopefully the Heat can make a playoff run, get into the playoffs. I mean, we're only like a half game out of the eighth spot. So... Even if we get in the first round and get swept, I don't care. I just want to make the playoffs and, you know, see Dwayne play a few more times on the playoff stage. Of course, Spencer. Of course, man. Of course. You know, just for the interest of time, I'm going a little quickly here. But as you can see, I am showing everything. But yeah, I double check it at the end of the night. I literally go through every single card and make sure that any sharp prints and variations and all that stuff get pulled out and actually get sent. And my sorters do the same as well. So essentially it gets triple checked. And you know, we do like I said, we do show every single card on the break here. So if we miss anything, we can always go back, check the video and be like, you know what? Damn, we did miss that. So, no worries, Spencer. You will be taken care of. You and everyone else. 
that's that's how we do around here. I will say this though, I'm pretty good at catching them. I am pretty good at catching them, so. Nah, Greg, he didn't call glass, he called game! As uh, Paul Pierce said that one time. Dirk Nowitzki's considering playing another season, which I think is hilarious. I mean, I don't blame him if he wants to play another another year. I'm sure Mark Cuban will gladly pay him another $10 million to just sit on the bench and uh, coach the young boys up. But that would be such a that would be an amazing troll on Dirk's part, because you know he he never came out and said he's retiring. People just assumed he was. But to my knowledge, he never came out and said, "Yeah, this is my last year." So that'd be hilarious if he could if he played one more season. I think he is. Just so he can see what the uh, Luka Doncic, Kristaps Porzingis experiment is going to look like. We got another big game tonight. We play the Rockets. Talk about a back-to-back. -back. We played the Warriors last night. We got lucky. Came away with a W. And now we got to travel to play the Rockets on the road. Tonight. So that's going to be a tough game. And at this point in the season, we need as many wins as we can get. We got a few tough games coming up, too. At this point of the season, every game is important. Some of these cards I've never seen before. So I, I double check. See, like, yeah, that's code 112 back there. But it's a base short print because of the card number, 421. Anything from 401 to 500 is a base short print. That's the thing with products like this, is you, you have to look at the back of the cards to know exactly what you're getting. Although, like I said, I'm pretty decent at looking at the card, but hey, that, that looks different. Robert Kraft pled not guilty. With the amount of money that guy has, I'm pretty sure he, he is not going to see any jail time. Sign of the Dimes. What's up, player? Are, are you, is, that a, is that like a compliment? Are you giving me a compliment? If you thank you, if you are, what's up, Aaron? How you doing, Playa? From the Himalayas. They look like <laughs> they look like like, they're, like they're in a wrestling ring. That's an action image. Yep. See, I'm pretty good at catching them. Pretty good at catching them. Yep, Celtics got lit up. Damian Lillard, my favorite player in the NBA, put in some work. I would love to see him in a in a Heat uniform, but that kid, man, that kid is he's he's probably gonna be a lifer, a trailblazer for life. You don't see that too too often in sports nowadays. Hey, there's an auto. Uh, who is that? Gary? How do, you, how do you pronounce that? 
Ah, a lot easier. Gerald Arrigo with the autograph for the White Sox. There you go. There's our first autograph. You know, Aaron, I, I would agree with you. Except, you know, Kyrie, you know, not for, you know, he, he did help LeBron win a championship, so. He has the benefit of having played with LeBron. But, you know, I, I agree with you. You know, I agree. I, I've said it before, and I'll keep saying it. The Kyrie Irving is probably the most overrated player in basketball. Like, it's... You know, only now people are starting to, starting to see the light. Now people are starting to notice. Oh damn, he he might not be the best leader. Oh snap, you know he he kind of uh, is a bit of a diva. Oh he you know oh he's kind of not of a team player. You know, I'm telling you, Kyrie is overrated. You know, if he's the best player on your team, you're not going to win a championship. If he was, like, the second or third best player, that would be his ideal role. Because as a leader, he sucks. It You know, it's it's been proven. Look at his history. And look at it now. You know, I'm just glad that people are finally starting to see the light when it comes to Kyrie. And DeMar DeRozan, not for nothing... He's been the worst superstar in the league for a while now. I'm just glad that he's on the West Coast playing with with Popovich so that I don't have to hear about him anymore. Exactly, Blob, exactly. Kyrie Irving is a great number two option. Like that that's his role. He's he's the best second player on your team. When you need when you need a bucket, boom, Kyrie got you. But as far as being a leader of men and you know and, and willing your team to to a W and, and making players around him better and all that stuff, he's not that guy. And you know, this season has has, has been the proof. You know, a lot of people call me a Kyrie hater. I don't I don't hate Kyrie at all. Kyrie's a great player, amazing. He's probably the best one on one player in the league aside from maybe James Harden. If I want a bucket, there's probably no other player I can think of that I would trust more with the ball. But as far as a leader, as far as, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he's just not that. He's not a leader. He's not. He's just not. So, you know, it's a shame. The Celtics should have traded Kyrie and got something for him. Because they're about to lose him via free agency. Now, Aaron, uh, I, I hear where you're coming from where, when it comes to Durant. But I don't know. You know, Durant, he, he kind of always deferred to Russell Westbrook in a way. But you could tell that he wanted to be the man. He just didn't have the balls to be like, hey, Russ, give me the fucking ball. You know what I mean? Like, So that's I think that's why he left to go to Golden State. You know, because out there is definitely more of a team friendly environment you know the person are the personalities aren't as big as Russell Westbrook so I, I as far as KD is concerned I hear you but I, I don't know I would definitely take KD as my number one option any day Like, I wouldn't mind seeing Kyrie and Kevin Durant in a Heat uniform next season. You know, have KD be the number one, Kyrie the number two. I'll take it. Of course, that's probably not going to happen, but hey, we'll see. You never know. You never know, especially with Pat Riley 
and Pat we trust here down south. He will make a move somehow, some way. I have no doubts. Some of these cards I've never seen before. Everybody go and pick out their uh, their brand new Bryce Harper jerseys in uh, in Phillies format. Dude, I honestly. If K, K well KD's a northerner, KD's from the DMV area, so it, it would make sense for him to want to go back home and play, you know, for the uh, for the Knicks. In Miami, there's way too many distractions. Like you, you know, I, I don't know. It's it's gonna be. I think I think it I think it can work. I think, you know, just because of who we are as a franchise, our head coach, like we have stability within our franchise. You know, we're we're like the we're the East Coast Spurs. You know what I mean? Spolstra doesn't get nearly the respect he deserves, but he's one of the best coaches in the league. So I think if K D and Kyrie end up signing with the Heat, I think we can make it work. We we have the pieces. You know, hopefully we could get rid of Whiteside to clear up some some cap space. Uh, I wouldn't mind if we get rid of the entire roster. If we could just keep like Bam Adebayo, Jason Richards, uh, yeah, you know, Jay Rich, Josh Richardson. If we can at least keep the two of them and just build around them, and you know, add KD and Durant, that's a sick lineup right there. Well, yeah, Aaron, we have distractions. You know, it's like you said, and among other things. Cespedes for the Mets with a patch. If like, listen, if if Kyrie and KD decide to get together, I am, I'm pretty sure KD like like Kyrie knows his role. Like he's not six foot ten, and he can't shoot over everybody in the league. Therefore. You, you have to kind of just, all right, KD is the number one. And Kyrie just going to slide into that number two role. But you also need, you need to have that, you need to have that, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You got to have that foundation, you know what I mean? You got to have the management, the coaching, like, the, the, the defined set roles. And I think that's the problem in, in 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 Boston. Brad Stevens, a great coach, you know, one of the best coaches we have in the league. But he's still young. He's only been a coach for a few years, and quite honestly, I, I don't think he can control big personalities. You know, this is his first time with like a super superstar on his on his team. So, I think we can make it work. I definitely think we can make it work. Alright, I have two boxes left on this. I haven't opened any of the box toppers. I, I always save those for last. I gotta change the trash too. J-Man's got pizza on the way. What kind of pizza? That is the question. A meatball pepperoni? From like Pizza Hut or something? 
Yeah, Aaron. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. And like I said earlier, I would, I'd much rather him hit the game winner against the Warriors than against the Suns. Uh, Landon, it was a Cespedes patch for the Mets. Papa John's. Papa, you know, Papa John's isn't bad. I would put Papa John's like number two as far as like the big chains of, of pizza. Number one would be Pizza Hut. Number two, Papa John's. I would put Domino's at the three spot and Little Caesars at the four. I can't think of any like other pizza joints. All right, what do we have here? KD and Bam, maybe Wade? Nah, Wade is definitely retiring this year. You could just tell, like, he's gassed. Like, at the end of the game, he is just tired. Unless, you know, you win a game winner, then you get that random burst of energy. He was running around faster, you know, after he hit the game winner than he was, like, during the actual game. <laughs> But, it, man, that was awesome. Like, you could tell he was, like, legit, like, over the moon having hit that game winner. I'm going to miss that guy for real. Hopefully we can get Zion or something in the, uh, in the draft. It's a long shot, but, you know, we do have a James. Uh, no, Matt, this is box five. I have one more after this. That's true. Pupper John's does come with that little sauce. It's like garlic sauce or something. And they come with that little uh, that little pepper in there. Which is a, which is kind of pimp. You guys ever try uh, pizza with ranch sauce? Ronald Acuna Jr. Braves to five seventy. Dude, if you have never experienced that, treat yourself. For the Mets, Noah Syndergaard with a patch. I wonder what the Braves are going to look like this season with all that young talent they got. I wonder how bad the, heat, the, the Marlins are going to suck. A uh, Pirates, uh, dual rookie stars. Those blacks are apparently limited to 50. And I'm going to say what I always say. I wish they would just number that stuff, man. All right. Last box coming up. Gotcha, Gary. Well, we're not ripping those open. We're, we're shipping them unopened, Gary. So, I will get that out to you, player. All right, last box. Let me sip on this water right quick. No problem, Gary. God, I love water. Oh, 
Oh, JMS. Oh, JMS. You have seen nothing yet. Trust me. You have seen nothing yet. There's also Heritage High Number. Hey! Nice, Aaron. Did you did you did you remember to get one for me? Of course not, because you're selfish. Last box mojo. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everyone. I want to see like a nickname or something here. Those scratch out cards are new this year. Interesting. I hate when my freaking monitors go to sleep. Stay up, fool. Got the other half of this case coming up after this one. Excuse me. I need to drink some more water. Yeah, I got I got to play around with that, Jameis. For the Red Sox, Xander Bogarts, the autograph. Yeah, 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 Aaron. Yeah, yeah. Action image? Yep. Chris Bryant Cubs action image. Well, Greg, you better come back and help me film some more Heritage, man. Because four random spots in a heritage break on our website will be eligible to win up to $2,500 in break credit. The next four days, we're running a crazy promo. Every case break of heritage we fill, four random spots are going to get into the $2,500 giveaway. So, uh, that's a pretty sweet deal. Not to mention, two hitless spots in every break we fill. We'll get a dice roll, which means guaranteed hit. So, uh, don't go anywhere. Ah, Greg, that, that'll work, Aaron. That'll work. That'll work. Are you going to the National this year? If so, you know, that, that's that's breaking fuel right there. All right, we are done here. Well, there are a few things I need to random and so on and so forth. But before I do that, let's open up these box toppers and see what's in here. We have... Bob Moose, 
for the Pirates. Mm, Aaron, I've learned in my life experience, in my 29 years roaming this earth, whenever somebody tells me we'll see, that's a 99% chance that that's a no. So that's a no. Uh, this is number three, Storm Martin. This is number three. Right here, the Expos, you know, the box topper there. Cool looking card. Expos are the twins, I believe. And JMS, that's what I'm trying to keep it under that. I'm trying to keep it under that. Or, or around that mark for my sanity. In a Cunha box topper there. Pretty sweet. I like the box toppers this year. Unlike years past, they would put like three, four, five different teams on there. A Juan Soto box topper. Now, if you're asking, are those real autographs? No, they're not. I hate to break it to you, but they are not real autographs. Here we have Mookie Vets, Red Sox. And last but not least, We have Johnny Bench in the box stop. Box stoppers this year, like I said, are super cool. All right, so there's that. Before I do the recap, there are some things I need to random here. David uh, Heritage number two for eBay broke yesterday. This is Heritage number three. This is Heritage number three. Number two was last night, and that video is already on our YouTube channel. If you're asking about an eBay break. Sounds good, Aaron. Sounds good. Yeah, it is in uh, Chicago this year. Rosemont, Illinois, to be specific. And we're going like at the perfect time. It's like it's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's like the Goldilocks zone. Well, David from the website, dude, we haven't ripped any heritage breaks from the website yet. And we don't rip anything on the site until all spots are sold out, man. So please keep that in mind, uh, David. We don't break anything on our website until all spots are sold out. sure how this is straight here all right so as you can see gotta do some randoms here so I'm gonna roll this die if I get an odd number it's gonna go to the left side team even number right side team so odd left even right here we go no problem David you're welcome man number 10 is even so it's going to the right side team so this will be Nationals, White Sox, Royals, Nationals, Cubs, Astros, Angels, I'm sorry, A's, Astros, and Red Sox. Let me make a note of this from my sorters. And then we also have the flashbacks. All right, so got that taken care of. So this is going to go to the right side team. These randoms are a little bit of a pain. I usually give them, uh, you know, I split them. I'll give one to each. But since, you know, I don't have an even amount, I'm just going to random them uh, to one spot. Makes my life easier. My sorters as well. So, I'm going to copy, let's see, for this, we have to use the randomizer. As you can see, I have three teams here. So, I assign numbers. The top, one, bottom left, two, bottom right, three. So, one, two, three. All 
put each number down twice. Going to go 10 times in the random. And the top number will be receiving the uh, strikeout leaders inserts, as they call them. Money shot 10. Boom, 10 times. Top number 3, which means it's going to go to the bottom right team. So this will go Red Sox. Rangers, Astros, Braves, Nationals, Yankees, Yankees, Rangers, Nationals, Braves, Red Sox, Astros, Astros, D-backs, Indians, D-backs, uh, Indians, Astros, Astros, Braves, Rangers, Nationals, Yankees, Red Sox, Yankees, Nationals, Red Sox, Rangers, Astros, and Braves. Boom. There's that. For these, same deal, I assign numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Matter of fact, let's see, 4, and I actually have 3, 4. Yeah, I have 4 of each. Awesome. So for this one, I'll just give 1 to each, and then I'll let my sorter decide who's going to get the extra one. So at least for these, every team is going to get one. So a Brewer, a Cardinal, and two Rockies. So... Give one to each team on that. That makes my life easier. And then we have these that have five teams on it. Let's see. For these, I think it might be the same deal. I have four here. And yeah, that's not going to work out. So to the random. One, two, three, four, and five. So same thing, I assign numbers with this. One, two, three, four, five. So top three, one, two, three, bottom right four, bottom, I'm sorry, bottom left four, bottom right five. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Going ten times, each number in there twice for more of a true random. Or at least that's how my brain works. Uh, going 10 times, here we go. Money shot 10. Whoop, there it is. The number one. So that means Cubs, 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 and Cubs. There you go, Cubs. And finally, the last thing we need to random are these flashback cards that don't have a team assignment. Kind of cool. So for those, we're going to random them amongst all teams. So there are all the teams. We're going 10 times. Top team gets the flashback cards. Here we go. And then I'm going to recap this real quick, see what we got here. Money shot 10. Boom. 10 times. The Orioles will be receiving the uh, flashback cards. So there you go, Orioles. Congrats. You're going to be receiving all these. Now for the recap, patches we have Bogart Red Sox, Syndergaard Mets, Cespedes Mets, Tanaka Yankees, Arenado Rockies. Now we I found uh, quite a few action images in these six boxes. We got Chris Bryant Cubs, Degrom Mets. Lindor Indians, Harper for the Nationals, and an autograph for Gerald Arrigo of the White Sox. There you go. And that was the break. Thank you, everyone. We'll get it out.